What's going on everybody? My name is Alex Freeberg and today we're going to be talking about how to work with a recruiter to land a job as a data analyst. In my mind, working with a recruiter is almost essential to landing that first job because if not, you're really just applying and throwing your resume out there and oftentimes you're not going to get a call back. But with a recruiter, they already know what skills you have and they have your resume and so they're able to get you a phone interview very easily. So how do you get started with working with a recruiter? Well, the first thing that I did and what I highly recommend is just going onto LinkedIn, going onto your profile, and under your profile section, there's a place where you can say that you're applying for jobs or looking for jobs. And that's where you'll put that you want an entry-level data analyst job, a junior data analyst job, a data analyst job. And once you update that, you'll have people message you on LinkedIn or even call you or send you an email. And they'll just say, hey, here's the job. Are you interested in it? And even if you aren't interested in it, you can always say no, but here's my resume, here's my skills. Do you have anything that I'm looking for? And they'll work with you and try to find something that works for you and works for your skill sets or what you're looking for. And now you have recruiters reaching out to you, which is a great start. You can also Google data analyst recruiters in your area and find one and just send out a cold email or call them or whatever you wanna do. Just get in touch with them and tell them what you're looking for and they'll put you on your docket to blast an email when a new job comes up or something like that. It really is just another way for you to get your name on the list. So when the recruiter sees that there's a new job available, they'll send you an email you or they'll call you and they'll see if you're a good fit for that position. You have to remember that oftentimes these recruiters are getting paid on commission. So they're highly motivated to find you a job. So don't be surprised that they're sending out jobs that may not seem super relevant to you or the skill exceeds what you think you're at. Just thank them for sending it and see if they have any more that are more your skill level. I would have recruiters sending me jobs that I was obviously not qualified for and had none of the skills for, but they're really just sending that out to a ton of people. I would always reply back and say, thank you for sending me the job. I think I'm looking for more of an entry level data analyst. If you have any of those positions open, please feel free to send me those jobs. So let's say you've been working with your recruiter, you've been applying to jobs and you finally get your first phone interview. Typically what's gonna happen is, is you're gonna have to work through that recruiter to schedule a time to meet with a company or to call the company. So then they'll ask what times work for you. You can give them any times that you're available for about 30 minutes to an hour is typically what a phone interview takes. And they will work with the company to schedule that interview for you. Now, once you're done with the phone interview, the recruiter typically wants you to call them back and let you know how you did or what your thoughts are on the process or the company itself. And if you wanna move forward, they'll then go talk to the company and see if they wanna move forward as well. If you both wanna move forward and go on to the next stage, which is typically an in-person interview, they will set that up and coordinate that with both sides. So I actually have a really good example right here. I was working with a guy named James. He was a recruiter at this company based out of Dallas. And he sent me a job description. I really like the job description. I emailed back saying, yes, I'd love to get a phone interview or work at the company and talk to them. So he scheduled a phone interview. I gave him some times and worked out. So the company wanted to have me in for an in-person interview. And again, I worked through James on this. So he said, they wanna have you in for an in-person interview. What times do you have available? And so I told him these days work at this time. He talked to the company, they agreed on a time and he sent me the time to be there. And he said, when I got there to find him in the lobby and that he would meet me and then introduce me to the company. So this recruiter in particular was really great. He met me in the lobby. He introduced me to everybody that I was gonna be talking to in the interview. And then we just kind of chatted for a little bit. And so you got to see a little bit more personality instead of just the rough interview process. And so that really put everyone at ease and I really, really appreciated that James did that for me. So after the in-person interview, James called me to follow up and see how everything went. I said, everything went great. And he said, if they were to offer me a job, would you accept it? I said, yes, I would. So he said he was gonna call the company, ask how everything went, and then in a few days, he'd get back to me on what they decided. So two days later, James called me. He said that they really liked me and they actually wanted to hire me on. And this is the job that I actually ended up accepting for my contract to hire work at this healthcare analytics company. And I really would not have been able to get this job without this recruiter. So again, just trying to express how important that recruiter is because I would have never gotten that interview or been able to have that personal connection with the company if it wasn't for James. So let's recap everything that we've gone over. First, you really wanna reach out to recruiters and you want recruiters to reach out to you. And you can do that by either emailing them or you can go through LinkedIn and turn on your jobs and say that you're applying. After that, the recruiter should really help you narrow down what kind of job that you want and what kind of jobs fit your skill set. And they will send your resume and any other documents that you want to the company. After they work with the company, if they wanna bring you in for an in-person interview, the recruiter should be the one who is setting that up between both parties. And they're gonna find out the best times that you can both meet. After that, they should follow up with you and see how those went. And if they went well on both sides, they're gonna help you get that in-person interview. After the in-person interview, the recruiter is still gonna be your main point of contact. So you're gonna reach out to them and see if both parties agree that this would be a good fit. 
If it is, the company is gonna work through the recruiter to give you a job offer. And you can always negotiate salary in these or at least ask for a negotiation on the salary. That'll be a whole nother video. But when you do that, you're gonna say, hey, I actually am asking for this much and you're gonna work through the recruiter on that. Again, you never are directly working with the company. Almost always you're gonna work directly through the recruiter who's gonna work with the company themselves. And after that, you have landed your first job as a data analyst. And congratulations, because that is the absolute hardest part to get your foot in the door. And so like I said, I don't recommend doing this alone. A recruiter already knows the landscape, they know the job market, and they know what skills and jobs you'd be good for. So use them and utilize them the best that you can. Don't just apply to 100 jobs where most of the time you're not gonna get a call back. I highly recommend working through a recruiter who's gonna help you fast track your chances of getting a data analyst job. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. If there's anything that I didn't cover that you wanted to be covered in this video, leave a comment below and I will be sure to answer any questions that you have. I will be doing future videos on interviews, both in person and over the phone, so be sure to look out for those in the future. Again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video, and goodbye.